can a person say they are a Christian and also a practicing homosexual? To call oneself an authentic Christian and remain a practicing homosexual is a direct contradiction of biblical teaching. Jesus the Messiah came to not only forgive our sins, but to free us from its power. Now look at this. Jesus welcomed. You'll hear people say, oh, Jesus, he just accepted everybody, man. We got to love. Remember how he loved people? He did. He loved people. But what does the Gospels reveal? Jesus welcomed and accepted everyone, but he called us to change unrighteous behavior. The adulteress, the multi-lover Samaritan, the corrupt tax collectors. What did he tell them lovingly? Go and sin no more. Scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians, do you not know wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't be deceived. Can you say that? Don't be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And get this, the good news. And that is what some of you were, but you were washed. You were sanctified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Spirit of our God. You say, Larry, I don't know. I don't like this kind of... I like to go to church services where they just encourage you and make you feel good. I, I broke my... I, I, I was lifting weights and I, I tore my rotator cuff. And that's why I stopped lifting weights. I just do some dumbbells and stuff. But you know what? On a Sunday, I, I couldn't go to a church service. I couldn't... I was home. Everybody left. So I was watching some TV on Sunday, and there was this one giant service, and people were coming out, and, and I mean it. A wonderful man of God. I love him dearly. I, as I read some of his material, he says, well, I'm not really so much a teacher. I'm an encourager. And the people coming out, they were asking him, what'd you think? And, and here's what I was hearing. I was just, I'm not kidding you. They came out, this guy and this girl holding hands, and they said, oh, I love it. I just feel so good every time he speaks. And then they went to the next uh, girl, or uh, what, what'd you think? Oh, I'm just always so uplifted whenever I hear his sermons. Now, folks, I looked at that and I just thought, well, wait, what happens if that couple is living together in sexual immorality? What happens if that lady is a lesbian? What happens? You can go to a church service and never come under any conviction of sin if we don't preach the whole gospel and the whole counsel of God. I deceive you if I just tell you tonight good things get you stirred up. Come on, let's rev it up. More rev it up. More fun and more encouragement. Well, I believe in encouragement. The Holy Spirit's a great encourager. But you've got to know the whole counsel of God. And that's what we're going to do. 